Dartmouth pride, let us welcome to the field our Dartmouth football team! It's exciting, right? So we're playing Stang, and we know I coach with those guys all summer, right? The Stang coaches and Dennis Golden, we coach together uh, in the summer. New Bedford High, we do uh, with the local coaches, Derek Almeida, myself, and Dennis, and some of the other local coaches do a camp over at Bishop Stang in the summer. So, you know, we all know each other pretty well, right? And the kids all know each other. And, and so having this nice local game that we've set up for week one, playing a, a rival, it's, it's, it's awesome, you know? But yeah, I still get, Butterflies. I mean, I got, you know, we get a lot of responsibility. I'm nervous for my kids. I'm nervous in general, but like I want to put on a good show. We want to play well, right? Um, you know, and then just make sure everything goes as planned. It's like any competition. Like I, there's nobody on, in our program that, that likes to lose. So it uh, doesn't matter if we're playing cards or uh, cornhole or, you know, there's no, there's, we got all competitors on the staff. And then we're just trying to get that across to the kids. Like, you only have one shot, right? That's the thing about football. You got one shot. And, uh, you know, we lost last year, so they know what's on the line this year. Every year we say, the, you know, it's the seniors team, right? So we, you know, it's, there's only one 20, 23 football team. And the senior class is in charge of it, right? We, we haven't even announced our captains yet. Uh, we'll be doing that this week. But, um, you know, all the seniors are responsible for the success of the team. And if they all buy in, right, whether they're a starter, second string, you know, scout team player, you know, they all have a role on the, on the team and the younger players are going to look to them for leadership. We get uh, some returning seniors uh, that have experience and we have a pretty good class of juniors that got experience last year playing as sophomores. So we got a handful of guys from last year that have played. It's a, it's a real mix, you know, it's not senior heavy, it's not junior heavy, but it's just a combination about 50-50. And they're two pretty good classes back to back. You know, that's kind of where we are right now is a couple sophomores. We had a pretty good freshman team last year. They were nine and one. And uh, some of those, those guys are ready to play. You know, they're already on special teams. Some of them are working in as backups. We get a couple that might start on defense. So um, uh, we're in pretty good shape, you know, personnel wise. and. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a good mixture of, of kids right now. The hard thing is to like not believe what you read, you know, and then if you had success in your scrimmages that are all controlled scrimmages, right? We've only had really one that was a game scrimmage. You know, just because you had success in, in practice, you know, the game's totally different, right? You stop making mistakes, mental mistakes when you get tired. So, you know, the conditioning has been really important to make sure, you know, for Friday night we're not cramping up, we're not making mental mistakes because we're tired. Um, and you know, like just the physical mistakes are going to happen. But um, you know, there's always the, the unknown for week one uh, for any team, right? Um, but I think uh, this team so far has been really coachable. They're really into it, you know. So we've been we've been able to hit the ground running on offense. Defensively, we're building it, right? We're building it and try to figure out who's playing where and uh, try to get the defense up to speed as fast as possible. We just have less experience. This is my 20th year as a head coach. I started in 04, but uh, since 1989. The state of football today in schools and public schools and, uh, and specifically, it's hard to get and retain good coaches. Uh, I've been fortunate to coach with a bunch of guys who are all teachers in the school system, whether they're here with us at the high school or at the middle school or at the elementary level. So they're all educators uh, who I trust. Um, and they have good relationships with the kids coming up through the system. So the kids know them, they trust them. Um, and there's a lot more to, to coaching than just after school and, and Friday nights, you know what I mean? The, uh, the, the, the process happens every day throughout the school year, making sure their grades are where they should be, behavior is the way it should be, accountability, those types of things. 
And, uh, you know, I'm fortunate, the, all the guys on my staff right now, they've been with me so long. Any of them individually could be a head coach at any program in the area, you know. Um, so I've just been lucky that they, they all chose to stay and, and uh, you know, work in Dartmouth. And they all have families. They all have children. Um, and so it's been, it's been a real special situation for us because, you know, we, we uh, spend a lot of time together in the fall and then we see each other and obviously in the off season and get together at the beach in the summer and different things like that. It's just nice to have a group of guys and we have some young coaches coming up that are volunteering that, that have played for us in the past that know the system. So uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty tight knit. Staff. Dennis and I kind of took over the teams at the same time. He took over New Bedford High and I took over Dartmouth around the same time in 04. So, I mean, we've been doing this together for a long time. We have great respect for each other. Uh, he's a great coach. He's a great person. You know, he's a great educator. Um, does things the right way. Um, so, it, yeah, it's pretty special when we've, we've developed this relationship and the coaches in the area. Not a lot of animosity, right? We're all, we're all here to, to serve the, the kids and the community. And so we have no problem in the summer working with each other's players, helping them get better. Um, you know, we just at the Jamboree last week and, you know, fist bumping kids from Volk and fist bumping kids from Fairhaven and things like that as they come off the field because we've worked with them over the summer and, uh, you know, you develop those relationships. Uh, and you just try to, you know, our goal is to, to see kids succeed from the area, from the South Coast. You know, and a lot of times we get underrepresented down here. Uh, in the big picture of the state, you know, they kind of forget about us on the South Coast sometimes. Um, so, you know, we're just trying to keep keep the interest in the game going too, because it's it's tough right now to keep the numbers up in the game of football. He's got plenty of running room, run up the middle, get himself a first down and more. They may not catch him. Hot down the far sideline, he's going to go in for the score. The expectations are the same in the fact that you know we're we're trying to you know, win every game or win a league championship and, you know, get to the playoffs and, and those types of things. But I think each team, you, can have, you know, it has its own chemistry. It has its own makeup. You know, none of them are the same. You know, it's amazing. Like, you can coach it each year and, and not one team is the same as the next. Um, it's just that the makeup of the players, uh, the energy levels of the, of, the, of the guys on the team, you know, who the leaders are. The direction the team goes, you're going to come. You know, you're going to face adversity every every season at some point. You know, and that it's never at the same time, right? Some teams face it in the beginning, some in the middle, or it could be at the end. You know, so there's all it's there's so many ebbs and flows throughout a season, and, and a lot of times that really changes the trajectory of the team, right? You might be rolling along, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, you just go on a run. Next thing you know, you're in the playoffs, and then you win a state championship. That's kind of what happened to us. You know, we we lost games. You know, but we still won the state championship because we learned a lot from the losses, right? So every team's, the makeup is totally different. You get excited for the kids. They're excited. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's, it, you start fresh every year, you know? So that's the cool thing. I think that's what brings everybody back. You know, my coaches keep coming back because you always have next year and, and you know, you're always looking for the next season.